Hello and welcome to Utilizer's response to the NYSERDA PropTech Challenge. My name is Paul Goody Kuntz and I am a lead development engineer here at Utilizer. The challenge is about understanding how COVID-19 impacted building occupancy levels and tenant energy usage, then to determine if there is any correlation between the two. Finally, we wanted to identify factors that go into accurately predicting tenant energy usage. We broke down our approach down into four steps. First, we scrub and refine the data that is provided. Second, the data is used to develop predictive formulas and algorithms, then analyze the results and adjust accordingly. Finally, our results are displayed on a platform that is easy to digest and actionable. To take a deeper dive into how Utilvisor scrubs data, we import the raw data into Utilvisor's suite of analytics tools that will automatically normalize all timestamps and apply null fill techniques. From there, we can learn more about the data patterns and formulate assumptions on what this meter data is using Utilvisor's data history and experience. The scrub data is presented to the operations team where it can be visualized inside Utilvisor's platform again. The operations team will analyze the data and get a basic ideas such as occupancy levels, business hours, holiday schedule, and even when the cleaning crew arrives. Then the data is fed into statistical analysis tools that is partitioned by hour of day, day of week, month of year, and season that will help identify outliers and visualize the data within the model. The result is we can now confidently answer questions the NICE sort of PropTech challenge presents. You can visit our website to view our forecasted consumption for all tenant usage meters on August 31st, 2020. So how correlated are building-wide occupancy and tenant consumption? From our analysis, there is at least some. This correlation was dependent on tenant meters with notable increases in power during business hours. We used R squared to measure the quality of our predictive model. We reached up to 0.79 R squared in our current prediction model. So what predictors were most important in determining energy efficiency? From a tenant perspective, using time of day, day of week, building occupancy and outside air temperature helped build our predictive models. From a building perspective, in early June 2020, as the building reached higher outside temperature, the Con Ed utility steam consumers were shut down and had drastic impacts on building energy efficiency. So which days had the most energy efficient occupancy level? Pre-COVID, this was on March 10th, 2020. During COVID, the best day we had was on August 17th, 2020. What else can we conclude from our model? Well, we can see what the base load is for the building and tenant meters before and during COVID. We can see that the office cleaning crew was visiting the tenant space later in the day, between 9 and 11 p.m. Finally, we can get an idea of the tenant occupancy times based on the consumption data. And last but not least, what would we need to better our current prediction model? The bigger items we would like is building and tenant square footage. Also knowing the tenant type would have been useful, whether it be an office building tenant, restaurant, or server farm. And finally, having tenant occupancy count by hour instead of building occupancy totals would help improve our models. We enjoyed what we learned throughout this process. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact us by visiting www.utilizer.com.